Hello, good afternoon, I'm back, Lutra FM, and we have a brand new FM24 series. Um, first of all, I apologise to the few people that did comment about the end of the Dynamo Tillablissi Georgia save. Um, it might be something I'll look into doing for FM25 down the road. I was starting to not enjoy the save because it was too easy in the domestic league. And, um, so, and then also the viewing figures went down, and as much as... People will say just ignore the numbers. Um, for me to justify spending my time recording this type of stuff, I need to, ha I need to be doing it with a, with enough viewers to make it worth my time. So um, I'm sorry to the, the 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 couple of people that commented on that one. I can only apologise. I'm glad that you enjoyed the series for what it was. Um, and like I said, one day I'll in likelihood I'll probably do another save with Dynamo, Tillabissi and the Georgia national team. Um, hopefully you'll come back to that one and hopefully you'll enjoy this series as well because I've decided to manage Coventry City but we're using a retro database. Um, so it's the 2007-2008 retro database and um, I've got all the respect in the world for Coventry City fans but they'll even say themselves that Coventry didn't have a very good team for many years, including that season. Their squad was quite threadbare. Um, and the good thing about this database is you will get regens that are actually real-life players. So eventually, I will have James Madison and Callum Wilson come through the youth ranks. So that'll be exciting. Um, I'm hoping to do this save for the rest of the time that Football Manager 24 is out. Um, Football Manager 25 is out in November, so we've got like three, just over three months to go. So plenty of time to see how far we can get with this Coventry team. The likelihood is I will probably not win the Premiership. I'll probably be lucky to even get in the Premiership with this team. Um, it doesn't matter what. Ta I could use a downloaded tactic, a cheat tactic, and I'd probably still struggle. There's barely any money in the club. There's no... There's no sellable assets at the club really. There's no real. There's no players in the club that you can sell for good money. You you know there's not money coming in anytime soon. So you are pretty much screwed with what you've got. Um, but it makes it harder for me. Makes it a challenge. And my favourite ever football manager save was with Coventry on FM FM two thousand and eight FM oh eight. Um, because literally every season I just about stayed in the championship every season. So. Them type of saves are what are the type of saves I really enjoy. Them and the youth academy only saves. Um, I don't enjoy when I'm dominating all the time. So this, hopefully you'll see the enjoyment in me playing this. Um, and then hopefully you'll enjoy it as well. But yeah, I'll show you the squad in a minute because trust me, um, it's going to be a tough, a tough task to even keep my job. So it might be a process of like, I'll start this series and within a couple of weeks I might get sacked from the job and then we'll just carry on the save as a journeyman save, I suppose. Um, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully this will be a Coventry only save. Um, but anyway, I keep saying um a lot. So I'm going to call it a, a day for the intro, but I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode and we'll go through the team and I'll show you... Um, the, what we're going to do moving forward with the team. So yeah, back in a sec. Right, we're back. I'm just adding my manager. I'm just letting you know what my avatar is going to look like. I think this is the green colour that Coventry use. I could be completely wrong. Um, I just need to change the glasses to the colour that they use. I think it's that one. And then just need to change the face paint. Do that and then that's that um, so we go England coca-cola so this 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 particular mod um, made by mr. mini 23 I think that's it I'll just I'll uh, I'll put it in the description I might have got his name wrong I will put it in the description so if anybody wants to sign up to his patreon I paid like I pay like six quid a month and he releases all sorts of different um, retro databases and they're quite detailed as well they're pretty good if I just quickly show you like they all they come with re, uh, regen photo packs as well he, sh he does a video on how to do that uh, the kits are pretty uh, decent as well I mean they look a bit blurred in this but that might be just my computer but if you just look at say for instance I'll pick Adibayo 
Um, you got his photo here. I'll pick Lasagna Diara, Abu Diaby. Uh, Arsenal had a pretty good team back then, didn't they? I mean, you got Robin Van Persie. They haven't got Omri here, but they've got, you know, Fabregas, Clichy, Gallas, Torre, Adeboya. Was Thierry Henry already at Barcelona? Yeah, he was at Barcelona. Let's have a look at him. He was a baller back in the day. He was even at 29. I'd sign him in a heartbeat. Um, but I think on this one, he's only just gone. Yeah. Bloody hell, they got a bargain back then, didn't they? Barcelona, 16 million. 16 million was probably quite a lot back then, but in hindsight, it was pretty good. Anyway, we're not going to be here to take over Coventry. Um, take over Coventry? Take over Arsenal. We're going to take over Coventry. Sorry, I stand corrected. There we go. So this is Coventry. We're predicted to finish 16, which is probably about right. We do have good training uh, and youth facilities, so that's good. Um, they want us to sign players under the age of 23 for the first team. Historically, obviously, there's been a bit of decline. Um, and then we'll have a look at the squad here. So if I just click under 21s, actually, then we'll just do senior squad first, and then we'll see if there's anybody in the under 21s. So uh, most valued player is Elliot Ward, um, who's a centre defender, and then Jay Tab. But like, like I said, this is our main team. Um, so you can understand why we're not going to be doing that well. We've got we have got the legend that is Deli Ali Bolo, but he is wanted, so we might not be here for much longer. Um, and then if we just click on the under 21s. See if there's any, but Ben Turner who obviously became a bit of a legend at Coventry and then Burton and places like that. Um, there's nobody else I can see there. And then under 18s, um, there's nobody here that looks familiar. So, yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. But yeah, this is how we do it here. So we go to this and then we'll just adjust this. So there we go. We're here. Um, they finished 17th in the league according to this. So they want us to... Um, no, they've got 32,000 capacity stadium. 2.5 million to spend, which isn't too bad, actually. Um, I'll probably put quite a bit of that in the wage budget and see if there's any decent free transfers. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. We, we need to get rid of Tim Flowers. He is not... He's not he's not a, an assistant manager. He's a very good goalkeeping coach, but unfortunately he doesn't want to be a goalkeeping coach. So we won't be keeping him. And this is our best lineup. We've got um Malta Legend and also he did actually play quite well for Coventry over the years. Uh Michael Misford Misford. Um he's got okay finishing, so he will be our main man up front. And then we've got Tab on the left, Caro on the right, um, Fulton just behind him, Osborne and Hughes in midfield, McNamini, Dazoo. Dazoo's a pretty good central defender, but I think he's a bit old on this database from what I remember. And then Ward in centre defence. Ward is going to be uh, probably our best player overall. Um, he might get us some decent money down the road if we have to sell him. Borrowdale was left back. And then I can't. Coston. Kostinopoulos, Kostinopoulos in goal. So the season expectations is sign players on the age of 23, work within the wage budget, grow the club's reputation, um, and then they want us to finish mid-table in the Coca-Cola Championship. Uh, so hopefully we can do that. And then the fans want us to become an established Coca-Cola Championship team, be competitive against Aston Villa, we have to play against them, and also be competitive against Leicester as well. So hopefully we won't... We we won't get to play Leicester or Villa in this season because they probably will destroy us. Um, so that's that. Let's just quickly go through that. Um, I can do that in a minute offline. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go offline for a bit, sort out the team, sort out the staff, and then I will come back after pre-season's done and we'll start the first game of the season. Right, we're back. We've got our first game of the season. And um, there isn't really much to tell you about transfer-wise, I think. Um, let's have a quick look, actually. So, we're on the verge of signing Danny Pugh, who's a very good 
left back for our level. Um, we're only paying like 210 grand for him. I've put in quite a bit of money into the wage budget because we were quite, we weren't doing well wage wise. We have got to be careful financially because um, the projections are not good at all. We have got a, we've got quite a few loans that we've got to pay off. Um, and this, we've got these, yeah, we've got basically, we've got 275k a month coming out because um, of these way, because of these loans, sorry. So we really have to be stingent on transfers. They have to be few and far. Uh, a couple of free transfers maybe, but I saw I saw a decent value in Danny Pugh. Um, we've got 1.2 million in the transfer budget. Probably have like a million left after Danny Pugh signs. Um, just going to shift some more in the wage budget. And then we, yeah. So we we might have enough to bring in one or two more players. I'll have a look after this game, but we need to concentrate on this. So this is our first game of the season, as I said. We're playing QPR away. Um, we've got Costin Costin Um Well, I'm just going to call him, what's his first name? I'm going to call him Dimitris. So we've got Dimitris in goal. Uh, McNamini is right back. But, uh, Borrowdale is left back, Ward and Dazoo in centre defence. This is probably our strongest position uh, partnership, basically, is Ward and Dazoo. Dazoo is 37 years old, though, so we can't expect too much from him at his age. And then we've got Michael Hughes in the centre midfield with Isaac, Isaac sorry, Osborne. Um, and then we've got Caro as right winger, pretty decent winger for this level. Um, Tab as left winger. And then Misford and Best up front. So basically, I've just picked a, a bog standard Gegen Press 424 DM wide. Um, it's not a downloaded tactic. I'd literally just come up here, create a new tactic. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Hold on. Create a new tactic. And then, because that one was the first one I saw that they had the tick on. So, like for instance, wing play could be our backup option. We can do that. And then do it again it's got three options we can have the fluid counter attack and then that as well but for the sake of the first game of the season we're just going to stick with this um there we go so let's see how we go hopefully we start this series and start this episode with a bang we will see i just need to skip that skip that there we go right i need to just change this so no reply no replies Plays. I can't get the words on today, so sorry. Extended highlights, key highlights for that. Right, so, QPR, this seems a bit slow. There we go. Right, so we've got the ball, least enough in there we go. So that was the first highlight, not very exciting, but um, hopefully we can get a win straight away, but like I said, I have to be realistic. Yeah. This is a. Uh, actually, let's have a look at the. Oh, I'll have a look at Southampton squad. Maybe I should have picked youth only as Southampton. That might have been a bit easier. They might have had Gareth Bale there. They probably have actually. I'll have a look at the team and so see how this what this highlight does with QPR. Good tackle by McNamini. QPR still have the ball though. Good miss, right? Okay, so let's have a look at the Southampton squad. Um, if anybody wants me to have a look at particular teams, let me know in the comments section and I will show you in the next video. I'll try and remember to show you that particular squad. Right, so I'm trying to see. Well, we got Andrew Sermon. Uh, is Gareth Bale in here? Maybe he's not come through the... You've, what are you... Oh no, maybe not. I was gonna say we all Theo Walker asked because he was in the Arsenal squad, so No, let me just try it alphabetically in case I've missed it. Uh no. Is he at Spurs already? He might be at Spurs already actually. Ah, uh, he's already at Spurs, eighteen years old. Maybe slightly. Maybe if I did it, if I had won the season before, would have had Gareth Bale there. But yeah, talented player here. We'll never be able to bring him in at Coventry though. Well, never say never. It depends, but I don't think we will. 
Right, here we are. Tab. Probably one of our best players. Crosses it in. Fortunately, it doesn't get finished properly. Caro with the free kick, headed over. Strong start in this first half. Five shots, two on target. We're doing well. Uh, I think I would probably take a draw at full time. Oh! Um, as the first game of the season. I don't want to lose. That's for damn sure. Especially to QPR. I can't stand QPR. Oh, I think he's offside. That's a great goal. That's such a shame that if that, if that doesn't get allowed. Yeah, so I don't think there's VAR in the championship. Um, so... Yeah, that was just disallowed, unfortunately. No VAR decision. That was a great shot by Misford. Borrowdale with the shot gets blocked. We're all over QPR. They, they're struggling to keep us at bay here. Still nil nil though. 1.75 XG. Ah, McNamini's injured. Gildings will have to play there. Right, free kick to us. Borrowdale lines it up. Ooh, just over. Still nil nil. We lose the ball. Commentary, um, sorry, QPR have the ball now. Big nut, oh bloody hell. Marcus Big nut, I remember him. Former kid amidst the Harriers player. Right, is it time to make subs? Hmm. Nobody's playing particularly bad. I mean, Misford probably needs to maybe come off. Yeah, I think Misford needs to come off. Who can we put on? Deli Adi Bowler. There we go. He's going to get the winner here. Good clearance by Caro. Oh, good shot by QPR. They were unfortunate there. Right, who else is playing poorly? Nobody. Everybody's playing really well for us. I think we've just not been good enough for putting our chances away, unfortunately. Michael Hughes with the ball. Gives it to Tav. Ah, that was a poor pass by Tav. Maybe Tav needs to come off now. Oof. Um... Yeah, I'm going to take Tab off. Who do I put on it? Leon McKenzie? There you go. Ah. The zoo's knackered. Ah, we can't take any more bloody players on. You're only allowed three subs in the championship, or it might just be because of this particular database that those were the rules back then. Oh, Borrowdale's. Come on. Ash oh, Ainsworth's definitely getting sent off now. He's already on a yellow card. Get off. Get off the pitch. Right, we better. Oh no, we got no, We ain't got enough time. I think we'd be very lucky if we get another chance now. Oh well, like I said, a draw is better than a loss, but we should have won that. Um, but an entertaining game for you lot to watch on the first game of the episode. Um, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back. Second game of the season. We've got a tough fixture ahead of us against Southampton. Um, away as well. I don't think we've played a home game yet, so um, but yeah, we've got this is our lineup. Um, we've got an injury to I can't remember who it was, was playing right back now. So we've had to call up Sam Hammersey, who's a regen in the under 18s. Um, so he's getting thrown into the deep end. Um, I have literally, uh, we've got Marcus Hall on the subs bench who. He's getting on a bit, but he can probably do a job if it comes down to it as right back, even though he's not a natural in that position. Um, Gild Giddens as well as another left back that if, if it comes down to it, can play right back if Hammersy gets injured or he doesn't do well. But I'm I'm much I much prefer to throw in the youngsters in there than a senior player who, who's awkward in that position. So let's just see how it goes. I think the rest of the team 
is unchanged. It is. So let's crack on. Just gotta give Hammer C squad number. Nice to see a cop player. Oh we're in the this is the Carabao Cup. It should be called the Coca-Cola Cup actually if it's I oh, know, I don't think it was called the Coca Cola Cup by two thousand and seven. I think it might be the Carabao Cup. Right. Highlight now going to us. That was a terrible pass. Man Michael Hughes manages to get the ball back there. Elliot Ward gives it to Osborne, gives it back to Michael Hughes. Michael Hughes takes his time with the pass. Unfortunately, it gets found out. I think that's Sean Wright Phillips. I could be wrong. Oof, we were lucky there. Um, even though Southampton's in the same league as us, I think they will. I think they will absolutely destroy us in this game. I do like the Coventry kit that they're wearing here. Um, I would love to get one to wear for the for the when I do these recordings, but um, trying to find a vintage Coventry shirt in my size is just impossible because I don't think they I don't think they did three XL four XL back then. In vintage shoes, the highest they went was 2XL. So I'm thinking of maybe getting a new commentary shirt, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, still nil nil. We've only had one shot this whole game. Southampton's had seven. Uh, I think our keeper kept us in the game so far. How was uh, Hammersy? Hammersy's not doing particularly well, but you know, there's other players aren't doing well either. So, try and give him a bit of encouragement if I can. It won't let me do it. I'll do it in a second half. Thought that was going to be a start of a highlight for us, but Southampton have it again. Dyer gets past us, crosses it in. We managed to clear it. Right, just going to encourage you. Okay. Demand more from you. You're a senior player. You should know better. His rating's gone up six point six from six point five, so that's good. Right, best with the ball. Back heels it to grey, I think. A little one, two. Oh, Michael Hughes with the blaster shot. Right, let's take off best. Um, who should we put on for him? We could give a debut to Robbie Simpson. I think that's what we'll do. Um, actually, no, we can't do that. Um, hold on. Let's take off Barrowdale then. Put on Gildings. Take off Hughes. Stephen Hughes on, so we've got two Hugheses here. Just a confusion. We've got Michael Hughes and Stephen Hughes. Hammersy gives it to Simpson. Nice to see the youngsters linking up in the uh, cup game. Good first team experience for them. Stephen Hughes with a nice, well placed pass. Unfortunately, the other player messed up there. I don't know who that was. Oh, here we go. Ah. Damn it. We were starting to get into the game then. Right, Osborne needs to come off. We haven't actually got any other central midfielders, so I'm going to put Ben Taylor there. Uh, right, we're going to have to change the tactics if it lets me. The mouse is playing up at the moment. Get off. There we go. Right. Tactics. Ben Turner. Can we put anybody... Now we're going to put him in there. And then we'll put Stephen Hughes there. So it's going to leave a quite a bit of a gap in the middle. Leaving it all up to Stephen Hughes, unfortunately. Ben Taylor getting a first time um, game as well. First time, first team experience, sorry. First team game. Oh, good goal by Nathan Dyer. 2 0. To be honest. I'm quite happy not being in the Carabao Cup this year because I need to concentrate on keeping this team in the league. 
well, actually, I've got to get a mid-table finish to keep the ball happy, so the pressure is definitely on me this season. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. They're probably going to score another now. They're doing some very slick passing here. Cook, good finish. I don't know if that'll be allowed though. No, it is Stern John. That's the one for the uh, for the historians. If everybody remembers Stern John, had a decent career over the years for several teams, I think, from what I remember. Oof. Okay. Okay. This is getting ridiculous now. I hope this doesn't happen on a regular occurrence. Right. Let's have a look at Stern John's career. Oh, he was at Coventry. Of course he was at Coventry. We need to bring him back. Can we bring him back? How much How much is he? Oh, let's try and make a little cheeky offer for him. I don't think he'll come to us, but you never know. We do need some um, decent strikers. Hey, consolation goal, Julian Gray. I think, I think Julian Gray is another one of these youngsters coming through. Let's have a quick look. No, it's 27. What am I on about? Former Arsenal player. Sorry. Nah, he won't come to us. He's only just joined Southampton. Can we try and get an on loan? Nah, because we already had an offer rejected. Alright, 4-1. Right, Danny Pugh's in. Another bloody left back. We, could, we need a right back. He's a winger, but he can also play as a wing back and a left back. But he is mostly a winger. Uh, Jack Lee, the DOF, is after. Youth player. Right, I'm going to go transfers, director of football, suggest transfer targets, right back, all roles. Right, Ovis Tabassian. We all remember him. He's 32, though, so too old. Chris Gunter might be a good one. 18, there we go. One for the future. Uh, okay. Right, we'll try that. See if that'll help. And then Fraser Richardson as well. Maybe bring him in. That's a good. That's a good deal for him, actually. To be honest. Right. Let's negotiate here. Uh, when's our next game? Three days time. So I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back. We're playing Bristol City. Um, we managed to sign that Jake Lee in the end, the DOF or the head of recruitment or whatever. Head of youth recruitment signed him. Um, he won't be a first team player though. Um, let's have a look though. I think this is, oh yeah, Pew's making his debut. And then uh, Hammersey's having another appearance. He has right back. Which was, I can't remember. But we are looking to sign. So we had a, an offer rejected for, well, we had an offer accepted by for Chris Gunter, but for some reason the transfer was cancelled, so I think he might be injured or something. So I've made another offer for him, um, but with the likelihood we're probably going to be signing Fraser Richardson. And then we've had a, well, this player maybe coming in from Shrewsbury, Chris Humphrey, who probably, I think he goes on to play for like Motherwell, because I think that's a Motherwell shirt in the background, so... Um, I don't think he had the best of careers. So I'll have a look offline in a minute. Okay, all right, let's get started in this game. Let's hope we can uh, get our first win of the season. We've drawn one game and lost one game out of the two games, so hopefully this will be the first win of the season. Lovely over the top ball to Pew from Best. Let's see if Pew can make an instant uh, contribution. He gets past the players. Oh, look at that. What a goal by Danny Pugh on his debut. Great run by him. Former Manchester United youth player as well, Danny Pugh. He had a decent career at Preston and other teams like that. But yeah, 1-0. We are all over Bristol City. Seven shots, three on target. I think this is more to do with the uh, Gegenpress. 
still being quite overpowered on FM. Well, I'm not complaining because, oh, one more, James McAllister. I like that, my confidence is gone. That was a good free kick though. First shot they had as well, typical. Yeah, it's going to be a long, hard season, I think. Pew headed there out. Back to Pew over the top ball to Misford. Good cross by Misford. Carey with the header. Best hits it over. Really excited about the Man United game tonight. Man United playing Fulham. First game of the Premiership season. Um, and I'm really excited to see how the new signings do and how we do in general. We played really good football um, against Man City. So I'm hoping we can do that again. Fulham are not like the best team in the world in the Premiership, but they're also not the worst. So, and I think I think they did beat us last season actually. So we've got to be careful. Um, I'm not I'm not saying that 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 Ten Hag is going to get sacked if we lose that game, but the pressure will be on straight away if we lose to Fulham. Right, Pew. Oh, look at that. Get in. Made another contribution this time with the assist. Man of the match performance by Pew so far. Good finish by Misford as well. So we end the first half at 2 1. We're having to make quite a few substitutions already. I oh, know we haven't, we've only made the one, just ignore me. Right, Bristol City probably hoping to get back in the game. Oh, that's a bit, a bit risky by our goalkeeper. Managed to get the ball, best. Caro with a header, thought she goes straight to the goalkeeper. Right, um, Hamasi is playing okay, I'm just going to encourage him, hopefully that helps. Best is not though, so I'm going to berate him. Hopefully that will help. He's not happy about that. Right, we'll take best off I think, just to be on, just to be on the best. Just to be on the safe side, sorry. I'm so sorry I'm getting my words all muddled up today. Right, I'm going to give Robbie Simpson another go up front. I'd rather play him than Kevin Kyle. Bristol City, dry it for this good ball. It's going to be a goal. Oh, good save by uh, Dimitris. Corner to Bristol City. Handled nicely by Dimitris. Takes his time. Leads to nothing now. Still 2-1. We've had eight shots on target. Only one. Oh no, only two goals. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. Great. Great. Absolutely great. Right. Um, yeah, you'll have to play there, Ben Turner. Hughes, can we take you off? Who can we put on for you? Put on your brother, Stephen Hughes. I know they're not related. I just like to think that they're brothers. Oh, the goal was disallowed. That's all right then. Just demand a bit more anyway. We are, we are going to concede a goal here. I can just feel it happening. Oh, that was one hell of a shot there. Come on, let's keep the lead. Ten shots on target now. XG of 2.86. Sorry, XG of 3.00 now. Come on, let's run this clock down. There we go. Get in. Nice to get our first win out of the way. Great contribution by new signing Pew. Good performance by Misford. Uh, let's have a look at Misford. Yeah, we Cobb signed him from Lillstorm. Before that, he was at his uh, in Malta. Obviously, they went to Germany. Did all right in did all right in Germany. Um, went back to Malta for a bit. Then went to Norway, and then finally Coventry, which he where he ended up becoming a bit of a cult hero there. I think from what I remember. Yeah, Chris Humphrey, he's not too bad, but according to the reports here. We've managed to sign Fraser Richardson, which will be a very good 
right back option. He will definitely go straight into the first team for the next game. I think, I'm pretty sure, unless he's injured. Let's have a look. We do this now. Come on. There we go. All right. Yeah, Richardson will be making his debut. Turner will be in defence by the looks of it. Good old Ben Turner. He ends up becoming a cob legend as well. Right, when's the next game? Seven days. So I'll be back in a second the next game. Right, we're back for the last game of the episode. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. I know I have. Um, so we obviously got line up now. We've got Pew and Richardson, our new signings in the team. Other than that, it's pretty much the same team as before. I will just quickly go through some things that have happened in between the games. So we're going to go for Darren Randolph, 20 years old, decent goalkeeper, only costing us uh, up to like 230k. Um, he'll be good competition for Dimitris. Um, and then we've had a few loan offers for new signing Chris Humphrey. We're trying to give him some game time and also Donovan Simmons as well. So but let's crack on with this last game of the episode and see how we get on. Hopefully another win. Sort of a local-ish derby against West Brom. Um, I think it's like I think it's like twenty twenty or thirty miles between the two. Playing away again. We seem to be playing a lot of away games here. Nothing so far other than that brief highlight that we saw, nothing exciting. Hopefully Fraser Richardson can make, have a good debut just like Danny Pugh did. I'm trying to keep the transfers relatively realistic with who Coventry would be able to afford to buy um, in real life back then. So it's going to be mostly British players or mostly players playing in the the like you know the Championship, Premiership, lower leagues of England and stuff like that. The occasional player from abroad. West Brom with a triple substitution. Caro is not playing well, so he's going to come off. Uh, Wayne Andrews, we'll put you on. Uh, Misford, you, you can come off. We'll put, where is he? There you go. Addy Bowler can come on for you. Michael Hughes looks like he's giving his all. So we'll take you off as well. So I think that's everybody. take anybody else off? No. A ball draw. I don't think, I think literally we've had one highlight this oh there you go. Second highlight of the whole game, I swear I haven't seen it. Oh typical. Ah oh, right at the end as well. There is nothing we can do about it realistically. That's such a shame. What a poor way to end the episode. Yeah so this episode we've had one win, two losses and one draw. But yeah, not the best. Anyway, we'll uh, call it a day for that this episode. I'm just going to move me over here. Uh, thank you as always for, well, I mean, thank you for giving this new series a try. Hopefully some of you will stick with me and carry on watching it because I think this will be a really fun save and I hope that you all start like to get into it um but yeah anyway i don't really know what else to say because it's a new series so yeah i'll be back mm, let me think um when will i be back we'll be back next week sorry i'll be back next week with another episode two episodes next week it's just one episode this week because unfortunately yesterday um just couldn't couldn't get it couldn't get the database working in time and get it all sorted so yeah i apologize for that but yeah we'll be back next Thursday with another episode. Thursday and Friday will be Coventry City 2007-2008 database. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to it. Enjoy the rest of your day. All the best.